Hello there, this is DBT and this Art of Runes. And alright, today as you can see on the title, we're gonna be giving a little bit of advice or tips and tricks as to how to increase your garage level in case you're having issues with it. Now obviously this information is for the players that are having these problems and for everybody else that are, that are already in garage level 18, well this is gonna be kinda useless, but still I wanted to put this information out there because this is something that I haven't seen a lot of people talking about and I know that I had issues with the garage level for quite a while until I realized what I was doing wrong and once I fixed that, I was able to increase my garage level and start finally getting some better cars to, you know, make more progress in multiplayer and wherever else where you needed better cars. So, that's the topic of today. And the very first thing that we need to talk about is one term that I, I'm going to be using uh, throughout this video, and that is the Legend Store. Now, Legend Store refers to this specific section of the shop. Everything else has different names. You can see over here limited time packs, card packs. Uh, there's also the special offers and whatnot. When I say Legend Stores, I'm going to be talking specifically about this section where you can buy... Uh, well, parts, that's not what I'm going to be talking about, but blueprints, you can get blueprints for credits or for tokens. Don't buy them for tokens ever. Um, so yeah, Legend Store, this is what I'm talking about. Now, Garage Level, just quick overview in case you're a little bit confused as to what this is. Garage Level, it's you, this number that you have over here in the top left. You can see mine is 18, which is the highest. Uh, and this number, while it's somewhat related to the amount of cars that you have, actually, it has to do just with the amount of points that you have accumulated by either acquiring or upgrading cars. Depending on the amount of points is which level you're at. When you start the game, you're, you're going to be at level 1 and that means that in the Legend Store, you're going to have access to blueprints of basic cars. You can see over here. The higher your garage level, the better blueprints you get. Still, obviously, the lower levels are still going to give you some pretty not good cars, but the higher and higher that you make progress, you start getting some pretty decent cars. Things like the Viper, which is a pretty decent class C car. Uh, the Artega Super Electra, also pretty good. And bad, for example, a bad class A. But again, keep climbing higher and higher. You start getting slightly better cars in class A, much better cars in class C and B and all of that stuff to a point where you can really get some amazing cars like the Aventador J for class A. It's a pretty good one. The Apollo N is fantastic in one of the fastest cars in class B, um, the Lamborghini Huracan, in, you know how good this car is, McLaren 570S, the Vanda, even some really fantastic class A like the Huayra, the Aperta, the Genti Aquilone, or even the Koenigsegg Regera along with the Bugatti Chiron. So, this is why you want to upgrade your garage, because the, the quicker you get to a higher garage level, the faster you're still gonna, you're still gonna see these blueprints in the store. Now, one quick mention that I want to do is that whenever you reach tier 15, you're going to start seeing sometimes these blueprints, but most of the times they will be showing for credits. However, once you reach the next garage level, garage level 16, regardless of the blueprints you're going to start getting, this that you would get normally for tokens, they're going to start showing up for credits much more often. So when you reach level 16, you're going to be like, oh, I want my Hurricane blueprints, but they're going to show most of the time for tokens. So wait until you're in tier or level 17, and then the Hurricane is going to start showing much more often for credits. But anyway, that is why you want to upgrade your garage. And like I said, the way to do it is by upgrading, acquiring cars and upgrading them. Once you acquire a car, you get a certain amount of, of garage points. And once you start upgrading them, you start getting points or, or you get points for doing so. You can see over here, uh, how much an upgrade costs, and this is the amount of points that they will be uh, that this upgrade is going to give to to your garage. So, with that in mind, the thing that I wanted to talk about is the fact that not all the cars are the same. Some cars, in terms of garage level in increments, are much more worth than others, and for that, it's going to be basically all of the basic cars of the game. If you notice, except for the Mitsubishi and the Nissan Leaf, you'll see that my basic cars are pretty much fully upgraded as high as I could get them. All of these you can gold because they don't require epics, doesn't matter. All of these cars are upgraded. And you start noticing that the cars that I don't have fully upgraded that are still missing some upgrades and whatnot are not the basic cars. And that is on purpose. And that's not only in Class D, by the way. Let's check Class C. Basic cars of the game. Let's call them the common cars that you can get easily through the, through the store. You can see that I have all of them upgraded, while other cars like the Scalo, the what else, for example, the Ferrari 40, rare cars, I have not upgraded. 
Not only are they more expensive, they give you less points for your garage. Let's look at class B, same situation. Common cars, upgraded. Cars that are more difficult or newer to get, not upgraded. And again, that is just the common theme for all of the cars in my garage. And this is because that's when I realized, when I did this is when I realized that I needed to upgrade the, the loaded cars. Why is that? Well, let's go back to the very, very beginning. Let's look at the Mitsubishi Lancer Evo, which is the most basic car in the entire game. We're gonna do a little bit of math, but don't worry, it's very easy to do. What you want to do is determine how much credits you have to spend to get a single point uh, for your garage. How do you do that? Well, really simple. Take your amount of credits, 18,000, and divide it by the amount of points that you're gonna get. So that's 950. And you get a number over here of 18.9, blah, 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 blah. Let's leave it at 18.9. This means that for every single point of your garage that you get, you need to spend 18.9 credits. That's how much this cost. Now, I'm gonna make this a little bit more understandable visually, so let me bring something else over here. Good old trusty spreadsheet. So, let's write over here the Lancer Evo. The price per upgrade, as we said, is 18,000, and it's gonna give me 950 points. Here's a formula, 18,000 divided by 950, it gives me 18.9. This is rounded to, to only one decimal. Now, this number remains very, very constant through the upgrades of any car, of the same uh, of the same car, I should say. For example, this was an upgrade of level seven, the one we just did, uh, the math for, let's do the level eight. That one is gonna cost me 25,000 and it's gonna give me 1320. And you'll see that it's still pretty much the same amount. This number is very, very constant regardless of what upgrade you're doing. Now, real quick, I'm talking about upgrades exclusively. I'm not gonna talk about epic import parts, or excuse me, import or epic imports, because those are a different situation. I'm not sure that they have necessarily a formula. So I'm just gonna focus on this, but overall, a card that has a good value is also gonna have a good value on the epics. That's what I can say. So this 18.9, it's a really good value. It's probably the best value in the game, just as another example, let's look at the Nissan Leaf Nismo. So let's write it down over here, the Leaf. And if we look at the upgrade price, it's gonna be a similar situation. Uh, for an upgrade of level nine, it's gonna cost me 35,000 and it's gonna give me 1848. And guess what? It's basically the same number, the 18.9. Another one just to double check. I will, it's the same level, isn't it? No, it's level eight. This is gonna cost me 25,000 and it's gonna give me 1320. It's the same numbers. So you can see that this car also has a value of 18.9. The smaller this number, the better. The higher it is, the worse. Now, I'm gonna show you how there are indeed cars with a much different value. Let's jump into class B. And, no, you know what? Hold on, is there a good example in class C? Now let's show you one example in class B, though, this is not necessarily related just to the class. So for this one, let's have a quick look at, where is it? There it is, the Draco, or Draco, I don't know how to pronounce it. If we look at the upgrades, regardless of the fact that this is class B, we can just still do the same math to determine how many credits do I have to spend per point. So for that, again, let's bring this thing over here and we're gonna go Draco. This upgrade is gonna cost me 57.50 and it's gonna give me 147 points and my value is gonna be 40, almost 40. Like I said, the higher the number, the worse it is. So this is much worse. This is m literally twice as bad in terms of garage points, because this means that I have to spend twice as many credits to get the same amount of point. Or if you want to look at, at it from a different angle, for the same amount of points, or I think you know what I mean, right? For the same amount of points, you're gonna spend twice as much. Or for the same amount of credits, you're gonna get half as many points. That's what I wanted to say. So again, just to show that this is a very uh, uh, constant number for an upgrade in level three, that one's gonna cost me 22,500 and it's gonna give me 576. And what is the number I get? 39. This is a bad car to upgrade if what you want is uh, points in your garage. Is this a better car? Yeah. But, again, what we're looking for is to increase the garage level. We're not looking to which cars to upgrade it because it's a good car. That's a different topic. 
the topic we're looking into it's the points per upgrade so in heavy contrast to that let's look at the ferrari 488 gtb this car is also class b pretty much around the same uh level of car this one i have it at three this one at four stars but if this was a four star it would be pretty much almost the same top rank so these two cars are comparable in terms of the rank let's look at the upgrades on this one and upgrading level nine is gonna cost me this is for the 488 gtb it's gonna cost me 87,500, and it's gonna give me 4,480 points. And my number eight, being class B, similar to the Draco, or Draco, 19. Again, very constant number. An upgrade in level 10 is gonna cost me 122,000, and it's gonna give me 6,246, and we get again a value of 19.5. So, between these two cars, you can see that it's a heavy, heavy difference in terms of how much I have to spend per, per garage points. If I were to upgrade either of these two cars, well, actually, you know what? We can see it over here. We have determined that the Draco is gonna cost me 39.1 and the GTB is gonna cost me 19.5. So let's look here at the price. The 48 GTB, this is how many credits I have to spend in order to take it to its maximum uh, upgrade rank. Again, without counting import parts, because that's a different topic. Uh, similar, but different. Uh, so it's gonna cost me this amount of credits to upgrade it. And what is my credit spent per point? We said that for the uh, for the 488 GTB is gonna be 19.5. So we entered that number here, 19.5. And there we go. Upgrading the car all the way in stage zero is gonna give me 591 points. This many for stage blah, 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 blah. And the grand total is that for this amount of credits, uh, 1.6 million, I get 84,960 uh, garage points. This may not sound like a lot, but it is, considering that there's a lot of cars to upgrade. Now, when we talk about the Draco, you'll notice that this is much, much more expensive to upgrade. In the same stage, it's twice as much. It's literally twice as expensive to upgrade than the Ferrari 488. And that is actually a very easy way to notice if it's going to be a good value or not. Simply because the more expensive the car is, generally speaking, is going to be a bad situation uh, in terms of the uh, of the points. But just to be clear, we determined that for the Draco, Draco, our value is of 39.1. Okay. 39.1. And here we go. Now, if you just look at the amount of points that we got, it's very similar, right? So how is this worse? Well, because this car costs literally twice as much as this car. I have to spend twice as many credits to get the exact same amount of, of points in my garage. This is why this number is very important because the higher this number is, the more credits you're gonna spend for the same amount of, credit of, of points that you will get for another car. And this gets really, really bad. I'm just giving you two examples of the value of 18.9 and 39, but this gets worse. Um, for example, like I said, we're looking, these are class B, right? But let's look at another class D car, just so that you have an idea as to how it's not dependent on the class, it's dependent on the car. Let's have a look at the Chevrolet Corvette C7R. Let's look at the upgrade, and an upgrade of level 6 for the C7R is going to cost me 71,500. And it's going to give me 1122 points. How many am I going to get here? Take your guess. Is it going to be 20? Is it going to be 39? 63. It's over thrice as expensive in terms of the garage per, or, or rather the, the credits per point. Almost thri over thrice as expensive as, say, a Class B car like the Ferrari 48 GTB. And again, this is a very constant number. Uh, upgrade of level eight is gonna cost me 140,000 and it's gonna give me 2198 points and again, 63.7. Just so that you have an idea, Let's forget about that this is the Draco, and let's pretend that the car costs exactly the same. But when you increase the number from 19.5, which was the case for the... Uh, no, what, what was it? 18.9. Uh, 18.9 for the Mitsubishi Lancer, versus a car that has a value of 63.7. 63.7. 
there you have it. For the same amount of credits, a car with a value of 18.9 is gonna give me 87,000. For the same car, the same price, but with a value of 63.7, it's gonna give me 26,000. You see why this is so incredibly important? If what you're looking for is to increase your garage level, you have to be smart as to which cars you want to upgrade. Yeah, it obviously, when we compare the Chevrolet Corvette C7R in class D, it's an amazing car compared to a Mitsubishi Lancer. It's not comparable at all. But again, we're not talking about performance. What we're talking about is your garage level. And you might be thinking, DBT, why do I want to increase my garage level if I have to upgrade these ugly cars, this, well, not ugly, but you know, these useless cars, when I already have a pretty decent car over here in class C. Well, like I said, there's a bunch of cars that you really want to get from the Legend store. Again, let's look, let's just go again to the garage here. Cars around here start getting really, really damn useful. This is one of the, let's say, free cars that you can get in class B. It's ridiculously fast. This is a pretty decent class A. This is a pretty good, this is like the um, Grand Sport, the Corvette Grand Sport, but a little better. Um, over here, the class S is not that useful, but the Aventador J is a fantastic car. The Aston Martin DBS Superleggera is a fantastic class B car. In class A, you have the 570S Spider. This is uh, one of the fastest class a cars that you can get for free then we have you know how much this is considered a semi king of class b the hurricane the vanda is insanely good in class a there's amazing cars that you can get over here but for that you need to make sure that your garage level is high and you know that is the way to do it now want to see even more crazy stuff just to, to to give you an idea as to how crazy these numbers get well, let's talk about the Vanda. Like I said, it's a fantastic car. Don't get me wrong. But you want to see how much you have or how much the how much credit you have to spend per point? Let's do the exact same thing that we have been doing. For the Vanda, you have to spend 26,300 and it's going to give you 326. Take a guess. Is it going to be 20? Is it going to be 40? Is it going to be 60? It is 80. And again, this is an incredibly constant number. For a level 2 upgrade, 42,520 points, and that's 80 points. Want to see even crazier than this? Because believe me, it gets crazy. By the way, just like this, the Vanda, the McLaren 70S Spider, it's the same situation. It's a value of 80. The Onyx is a value of 80. The Aston Martin Victor is a value of 80. But you want to see the absolute craziness? Let's look at the Lamborghini Veneno. This one will be really easy to do the math for, but I'll still do it on the spreadsheet. For a Veneno, an upgrade that is gonna cost me 23,000 is gonna give me 230. That gives us a value of 100. This is a terrible car if you, a terrible car to upgrade if what you're looking for is points for your garage. So, this is why I wanted to talk about this whole thing. Because this is not, immediately obvious yeah you can get a little bit of an idea of where th this car is very expensive to upgrade and i don't think it's giving me a lot of points but if you take the time to do a little bit of math you will actually get hard numbers to see how much uh how worse some cars are now as i was saying this is a little bit dependent on the class of the car but it's more so about just the rarity of the car for example, the Tri Nemesis, although it's a difficult car to acquire because you need to do this weekly event for literally a year or so in order to upgrade it, this is a relatively common car. So let's check it out. It's Class S, and it's a much better car than the Veneno, by the way. So if we look at the Trion, an upgrade is going to cost me 336,000, and it's going to give me 13,675. You can tell that it's a better case than the veneno but how much better this is what i'm saying instinctively you will notice that this is better how much better is it it has a value of 24 that that is the level of difference that it makes in upgrading certain cars over others so i hope this helped you a little bit to understand how this works and why it's so important that if what you're looking for is to increase your garage level in order to have access to the better cars that the garage can offer you you need to focus on upgrading the relatively useless car. A Centenario is not going to do any good for you in multiplayer, 
But if you upgrade it all the way, you're gonna get a lot of, of garage points from it. Even if you're not gonna use this car. Same situation with the FXXK, the Volcano, and the Lycan Hypersport. And that's why I have them upgraded. Again, when you see this icon over here, it means that it still has epic or rather import parts to upgrade. If you have um, like this, the double up, this, this icon over here, this means upgrade. So it's upgrade, this is import parts. So you will notice that all of my basic cars are fully upgraded regardless of the epics. The epics I don't care too much, but although they can be helpful, but overall basic cars, I have them all the way upgraded because once you do that, your, your garage value is gonna increase massively really quickly without having to straight up break the bank. Because again, keep in mind, some cars give you so little points and they cost so much to upgrade that it ain't worth it. Want, a, want an example? That's a millennium. It's just like the Veneno. This thing, well, actually, I don't have this very upgraded, but um, 90,000 for a barely level 3 upgrade, that only is going to give me 900 points. Or maybe like the Genti Aquilone. Great car in Class A. Amazing. But guess what? Upgrading it, it's a very bad value. This is, like I said, this is a car with a value of 80. So that's all I wanted to give you. An idea of how to determine which are good cars to upgrade or not. I, I know it's gonna take a little bit. It's gonna be like, oh my God, I need to pull out my calculator to do this math. But trust me, it is worth it. Because again, while it will be tempting to just upgrade the better cars, and granted, you should, if you have some good cars, upgrade them. But in order to increase your garage level, you absolutely, absolutely need to upgrade the basic cars. Even if they're not super useful or useful at all, you want to upgrade those because the, the rarer, the fancier the cars are, the less value they give you to your garage. So there you have it. I just wanted to talk about all of this because like I said, this is something that I didn't know when I started playing this game. It took me a very long time to realize because I was like, why do I have so many cars? I keep on upgrading them and I'm spending, I'm breaking the bank and I cannot increase my garage level. I was stuck in like level 14 for the longest time until I realized, oh, all of these cars are actually much better to upgrade and you get a lot of value for them. And that's how I was able to much quicker reach tier, excuse me, level 18 on my garage. So if you found this useful, let me know in the comments and also let me know if you would like me to do some more videos on other little tips and tricks maybe as to how to drive a tiny bit better nitro management, which is very important in this game. Little things like that that I think are very basic and the newer players don't know how to do. I may not be a pro player alien level, but I sure can help you a little bit on how to drive a little bit better over there. So let me know if you're interested in seeing things like that. But that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was useful. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care and stay safe. Bye-bye.